Chow Chin Chow, Santa and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver Metroid Lock. In the last episode, we arrived here in Kanto, Vermilion City specifically, and we got our first gym badge in the Kanto region. We beat LT Surge and got our badge. But it came at a cost and we lost back our electric type. So now we need to pick up two Pokemon, a fighting type to replace Sumo, and an electric type to replace Beck. Off screen, I have done a little bit of grinding just on the team that we have out at this moment in time. Everyone is level 61 because Sabrina's highest, which is our next gym, cannon-wise, is level 62. So, yeah, we are ready for that. We are getting ourselves ready for that. We have Madkips joining the team, level 61 with Strength, Earthquake, Mud Bomb, and Rock Smash. Then we have Criminal, our water type. Uh, yeah, you're a ground type. And then we have Criminal, our water type, uh, our lantern with Surf, Thunder, Tail Glow, and Exit Sentry. Then we have our fire type, Wildfire, with the flame plate to boost fire type moves, has Lava Plume, Flame Thrower, Earth Power, and Strength. Then we have Pepper, our level 61 dragon type, our Flygon, with Cross Poison. Dragon Claw, Vein Attacks, and Vine Whip. And there's our Dragon type. Then we have our Grass type, which is Booties V Meadow Plate Holding Tangrowth. With Power Whip, Poison Powder, Growth, and Ancient Power. And then we have the ace of the team, the captain who leads our ship. That is Loving Dead, the Odd Incense Holding, Level 61, Hypno, our Psychic type. With the moves, with, uh, with Nasty Plot, Hypnosis, Psychic, and Psybeam. Yeah, weren't last, uh, learnt Nasty Plot whilst leveling up. I got rid of Headbutt for it, and I really like it. So we can probably sweep with it, like one or two Nasty Plots, and we'll probably sweep, really. That's how good Nasty Plot is. As they see, they knock off the underground uh, the underground railway, uh, the underground path, and they they block that off until much more later on in the game. So really, you do have to go through Saffron. That's why Saffron is technically the next gym. I'm not really getting my. Uh, I'm not going to be taking it on just yet. But here is a new encounter, Route Seven. We need an electric or fighting type. That is not one of the types we can pick up, so that is a one. Round two. That is a Rolts. That is no so I mean that technically that's fairy. But I really kind of want to see if we can get a fighting or electric type. And Fairy is, like, optional, but I don't actually need to go and get a Fairy because Fairy technically doesn't exist. You know, because this is not the Sip generation. This is the fourth generation. So that's round three, and that's an Ursa Rink. That's round four, and that's a Kakuna. That's awful. Like, I wouldn't even pick that up. If we Even if we had a Bug Slot available to us, I would not be wanting to pick that up. And there's our fifth encounter, Ursa Ring. That's a normal type. No encounter on route number seven. Because we get five shots at it, and if we... If we run out of encounters, that's it. You know, we don't get another shot at this. Five is my max. That is what I decided when we started this series. We'd... We get up. We get five encounters, and if we miss out, we miss out. This is where you get the uh, TM. This is where you get the mood shooter for soft boiled in fire relief green, right? This is a Celadon. Grimer started appearing here recently. You can see it in the pond in front of my house. It has Grimer too. Oh, I wonder where they came from. Sigh. They probably came from the sewers, mate. And because, I mean, Pokemon the Royal version, the other LP I am doing right now on the channel, it sort of makes sense for why Grimers appear to be the way they are. 
That's one. That's a Weeping Bell. Round two. Is another Weeping Bell, so I probably should fish. I'm going to try again. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, I need an electric type or a fighting type. You need to give me a fish. No, no, I want to fish. I've done surfing. Come on, fish. I can get encounters by this way, right? But this is getting a bit annoying. All right, fine. Would you like this rod? This is my good rod. No. Fish do not want to come out today. Nope. I'm going to try one more time, and I'm just going to uh, just going to call it and say this route doesn't exist. No, nope, this route doesn't exist. Just automatically calling it. I can totally go on to uh, uh, Route 16, but I need cuts for that. So that's not an option at this moment in time. I guess we can try may we can try one maybe maybe try like one more route before we uh, you know actually try and continue on with the story of this game. But it's like. Uh, the thing about this game, the thing about Kanto is, it is gym, 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 gym. It can basically just go for the gyms, and you can get there in a matter of episodes. Kanto is really quick. That's what I'm trying to say. Kanto is really, really quick when, it want, uh, when you want it to be. But like, I don't know if I, I don't know how long I want Kanto to last. This is round five. I can attempt for another encounter here. Round one and route five. Nose pass. Where you can learn electric type moves, you are not electric type. Need a round female. Nope. Round three. Cast form. Again, technically a normal type, so no. Alright, so I guess this route is definitely not the route I want. That's four, that's five, no. I don't get an encounter, I don't get an encounter here. It's as simple as that, I do not get an encounter here, because the Pokemon I were running into are not the types I need. And not even types that, and not even good ones at that. Let's try Route 4. Magby is a fire type, and I have a better fire type. That's Wildfire. I have a better fire type. Come on, give me a Pokemon, please. There you go! Mankey! That's actually really good. I was saying that I could... I would go for a Mankey. I was actually saying that. I would go for a Mankey. I've been saying that in previous episodes. I would definitely go for this. This is our second encounter on this route. There it is! Mankey! We're back in it! 16 types. We're back in it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fighting type again. I'm going to call you Knockout. There you go. Knock out the Mankey. It's level 5, so we probably won't see it on the team, ever. Because it's just so much grinding would have to be done in order to put it on the team. Because it's level 5. This is one of the problems with Kanto. 
This is one of the huge, huge problems with Kanto. It basically, it, you know, you catch anything, it's basically awful levels. Ravel, Route 25, uh, Route 24, sorry. We'll try this again. We get in a, we can have, we could have had that if we ran in, if we ran into that first, we could have had that. Should we try a water encounter? Attempt three is a water encounter. It's a Blaziken. We could have had that too. Problem with Blaziken and Gallade is they would have only been allowed to use fighting type moves. Round four, surfing encounter, Whalma. Shut up, Erwin. I don't care. Round five with the good rod is a parasite. I don't get an encounter on this route. Damn it. I was do I was on a roll too. I was on a roll and then that happened. You have a pit lob at level 50. What the hell? What have you been doing to that pit lob? You like... Okay, you... Okay, that's a better Pokemon. I mean, it's, it's kind of... Oh, I, no, I nailed the Thunder. I nailed the Thunder. I'm fine. I'm fine. Right you. I mean, I could have gone into... I could have gone into Marsh Stop. That would have been fine too. Raichu would be so good for this. Give me that. Give me that as my electric type. Give me a Raichu. Can't really do anything against Fortress unless I'm with uh, Wildfire. Agron. Uh, Bad Kips, you can deal with this. You have Earthquake, uh, you have uh, you know, Rock Smash, but you could just Earthquake it, it should be fine. There we go. Right, round four. You will stomp me, apparently. You have a Machamp. That would have been cool. I would have loved a Machamp. Thank you, Loving Dad. Right. Route 25. I'm going to try for, like, two encounters here in the grass, and I might try for, like, a Cerulean Cape encounter. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I I, 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 I would so pick you up, but it would mean I would have to get rid of Loving Dad. And I don't want to do that. Loving Dead's like our captain. Yeah, Loving Dead is like the captain of this team. This is the captain of our ship. He does not die. So I'm not giving up on Loving Dead just to go and pick up a Mewtwo. This is probably the first person on YouTube you'll ever hear say, I'm turning down Mewtwo. Because he believes he has a better Pokemon. I am the first person on YouTube to ever say that. I am the first Poketuber on YouTube to turn down a Mewtwo. Um, Mud Bomb that, and then you. I stay asleep, I guess. Meditate. Uh, mud bomb, and you stay asleep. Yeah, criminal stays asleep. Can you strength the Wigglytuff and criminal? I guess stay asleep. Eventually, you'll wake up, criminal. Look at, uh, look at it. Look at Madkips doing all the work, so criminal doesn't have to do any work right now. 
I mean, Criminal did actually wake up and do some work finally, but, you know, still. Suno Wuno. There you go. I guess we'll battle you. You give us a nugget and then you want to see how you fare against me. You are Turchwig. I mean, that's a good Pokemon. Sneasel, stay in. And a Roselia. Wow, Wildfire just sweeps here. Yes, my Pokemon are incredibly strong. This is technically the Cerulean Cape, but it also still counts as Route 25. So this is a new. This is still my encounter. I've only had two attempts at an encounter here on Route 25, and both of them I couldn't have. So this is attempt number three on Route 25. I need an Electric type. Rosa Rosa Raid. Nope. Round four. With the good rod. Whalmer, level twenty. I would love it, but nope, that is not something I can have. Round five with the good rod. Uh, with the old rod, sorry. Bob Oach. Whiskers. No, flippers, I mean. Sadly, nope. That is Route 25 dealt with. And I guess that means the next route... I can't really get any other routes at this moment in time. Uh, because the next area I need to go to... I need... I, actually, wait. I can just go and grab my cut... I can just go and grab my rock... I can just go and grab my cut slave, can't I? It's not a slave, Joe. It's your bug type. I need to remember that it's not a slave, it's my actual bug type. It's actually my bug type and his name and his name is Sink. No, sorry, her name is Sing, and she's my actual bug type. She is not a sl she's not a slave. She Eve, she's not a jobber, she's my actual bug type for this run. I mean, she's a Cricketune, so I'm probably not considering using her. She's not like a Cypher or a Pinsa or, you know, one, or a Heracross. You know, those big, scary bug types. So oh, she's not even a Vic of a Viker Vault. Oh, wait. I don't even need Cut. I don't even need Cut to get onto Route 9. I thought you needed Cut to get here. Well, you... I, I think you did in Fire Red Leaf Green. But this is not Fire Red Leaf Green, Joe. That is an egg. That is not what I'm looking for. That is one. That is two. A Pokemon I cannot have for reasons. Uh, I can Mud Bomb you. Shell gone. Uh, Pepper? Do you want to Dragon Claw this? And a Magmar. Criminal, please surf this thing, please. Easy. Come on, please, an Electric type. Nope. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can't get any other encounters. Minen! Done! The type challenge is done yet again. Get in the ball, please, Minen. You suck as an electric type. You're probably one of the worst electric types, but you are electric, so technically you count. Uh, I don't know what to call you. I 
I don't really know what to call you. I really don't. I don't use minin. I've never used a minin. I've used a plusle in Auras, uh, on my Auras team back in the day, around 2013. I did use a... I'm going to call you Chris. Chrissy. Chrissy. I'm going to call you Chrissy. There you go. Chrissy. Uh, yeah, I used an... Uh, in my Auras team, I used a Plusle. And it was actually really good. But it took a, it took forever for me to get it to be good. And uh, I called that uh, Google. Because, uh, you know, Google Plus. Oh my god, that's a, that was a thing back in the day. Remember Google Plus? You got you know some of you new some of you new YouTubers won't even remember Google Plus. Fion. I know why I went for Pepper there. I guess there are some cut bushes on this route, but like, I guess not to get like, like. That's only to get, like, items. Ethan, shut up. I don't care. Heart scale. Nice. I will very much take that. Yeah, I guess the cut bushes are just for items. This is... Is this Route 10? Because the route didn't change to Route 10. This is still Route 9. This is Route 10. This is Route 9. Oh, okay. Well, I've already got my encounter on Route 9. It was a minor. And it was very awesome that I have that now. Because that means the type challenge is done again. I guess we'll head towards uh, Route 10, and this is Route 10. Our first encounter on Route 10 is Zangoose. Our second encounter on Route 10 is a Zangoose. It's not fairy type, so we can't pick it up. A third encounter is Carvana. Our fourth encounter is Carvana. Our fifth and final encounter on Route 10. Um, I need to look this up. By today's standards, it's a Zoral fairy. Because I know its evolutions are... Gen 3. Azoral. I think you're still normal. Oh wait, Maril. Yeah, you're Gen 2. You'd be in, you'd show up under Gen 2. Because Maril and you No, you're normal fairy type. So technically, this is a fairy. Just get in the ball, Marrow. Just get in the ball. I can't. You're level 20. I can't hit you. There we go. Yeah, this is technically a fairy type. I know he doesn't show up as fairy in these games, but technically, uh, by today's standards, this thing is fairy. I'm going to call you Finn. There we go. 
So now the type challenge is really complete, ladies and gentlemen. That is literally every type in existence at this point. And by sip gen standards, too. I'm ready to blast something! Who would dare steal a part from the generator? I spent so much time fixing it. I, if I catch them, he's gonna, I, he's gonna see what I could do with my charge beam. Um, I just got word from uh, Saladon that there's a shady character loitering around. Could I ask you for uh, for your cooperation? Sure, security guard. There's a shady character in Saladon, Cerulean City. All right, I'm hanging around the gym. I guess we'll go and deal with that, and then that'll. Uh, doing with that will unlock Misty. What am I doing? I don't need to fish anymore. I accidentally hit the Y button to fish. I don't need encounters anymore. I've got all the types. Like the only thing that basically would uh, I would say uh, the reasons why I'd need encounters is basically saying like, hey, just in case I need to get better encounters, but that's not necessary. And I'm at that stage where better Pokemon really don't really mean better Pokemon, really. So, yeah, it doesn't really, in the long haul, it doesn't really matter. So, I could just run around this place with repels on. Hell, I even got a fairy type today. Uh, area dose. Other plume. There we go. So I guess we're ready to face Misty today? Well we're gonna get ready to face Misty anyway. I don't think I don't know if we're face I don't know if we're gonna face Misty today. We're not we're definitely not gonna face facing Misty today because it's twenty-eight minutes. This episode's gone twenty-eight minutes, but like this has been a good episode for just encounters, which I like. Episode the next episode we'll deal with uh in we'll deal with this more hmm oops i'm sorry you not hurt okay very i very busy no time to be talking with you not good if i am seen with any by anyone oh no you've seen me already i make big mistake hey you forget you have seen me okay you seen nor heard nothing okay bye Bye bye, go go. Um, okay. Uh, we saw nothing, right? We totally saw nothing. Heal, please. And I guess whilst we're here, we'll look at our three new to our three new Pokemon for today's episode. So first off, we'll start by looking at our new electric type, Chrissy. Naughty nature, with growl, thunder wave, quick attack, and helping hand, minus three ability. Uh, then we have knockout, our uh, manky, mild nature, fighting type, with scratch, low kick, anger point, uh, scratch, low kick, leer, and focus energy. Anger point for the ability level 5. And then we have Finn. Um, no, no, no. I'm not going to put you in the team. Definitely not going to be putting you in the team, Finn, because you're not technically a fairy type. We have Finn, our fairy, t our fairy type. Uh, quiet nature. 
with thick fat feet ability uh, with tail whip bubble slam and water gun there you go that is the team rather quickly let's go and deal with the team rocket guy before we end off today's episode okay let's go and deal with the team rocket guy you guys can decide what we do with our fairy type. Do we count it? Uh, technically, it doesn't count as an actual Pokemon, but it's, it's an optionable extra. You don't have to pick up a fairy type in if you're doing your own Metroid series, but you can do it. You have a Magmar. I knew if I landed a mud bomb, he was dead. There we go. Okay, tell you secrets I, uh, of mine I will. Machine part stolen by me, hid in the gym of Cerulean. Near inflatable tube, I did hide it. Look in gym. Um, but forget me not. Uh, you will be, uh, for sure, will be beaten by Team Rocket. Come from Johto, they will, my allies. Yes, revenge they will get. What did you say? Team Rocket, bye-bye, go go Broken up by you? Oh, no. Uh, should, what should I do now? Okay. I, my country, I go home. Meet Team Rocket, uh, it's, I will. S goodbye, so long. And you see that guy again in uh, uh, Unova, uh, in a house in uh, I. Uh, where is it? It's in the Isaac um, Icarus City. It's in Icarus City, and basically he has a family. This house is only accessible in the winter time. Um, in that game. Him. It's only accessible in the winter time. He has a family, he, and he says he got too busy raising a family to and forgot about the entire uh, making his own Team Rocket thing. I think it's the other side. Indeed, actually. So that's just a little Easter egg. And that's a e little Easter egg reference for you guys. So you can go and see the Team Rocket. You can go and see our Team Rocket friend again in the fifth generation games, Pokemon Black and White in a house in, uh, in Icarus City. And you can own... Uh, it's a part of the game you can only access in the winter months when it's been snowing. You can only access that in, when it's been snowy in the winter months. Otherwise, you can't access the house. So, it's a nice handy little Easter egg, but it it really means nothing in the eyes of Pokemon, really, because you can shoot, you can tell by the fact that basically, you know, you can only access that house in the winter months. Right, let's go and get uh, let's go and hand back this uh, machine part. I still have Sing on my team. And then we can go and uh, deal with Misty. So let's go and hand back this machine part. I wish I had Fly. I also wish I'd stop pressing Y to activate my fishing rod. Now I don't need now I don't need encounters again. I don't I don't need to worry about getting encounters. I don't really need a fishing rod anymore. Here you go, mate. Ah, yes, that thing you have there. That was uh, stolen for, uh, from my beloved generator. You found it. Thank you so much. Now all I have to do is fit this part here. Ah, oh, whir. It's running. Whir, whir. Wah, thanks. 
is a reward for him. TN57. That would be charge beam, but what is it here? Uh, and my sprites are glitched. Great. I'd say this is the end of the episode, but the fact is, big, I still kind of want to go and grab Misty and turn her back to, uh, tell her to go back to her gym. So we're gonna reset the get. We're gonna reset the game because that would have been a perfect time to end the episode with the sprites glitching and everything. But like. I still kind of want to go and deal with Misty until I get back to your gym. So it's only going to take like another couple of it's only going to take like another minute tops for me to do this. Especially with the super speed button on. I don't think we're going to run into any more... We're going to still have to run into the grass, but we don't have to run into any more... Like, we can run for encounters. Hey, look, it's Chrissy, my electric type. I could have had the Dun Spars, too. Oh, I'm thankful that was not my ghost type or my bug type. Shininja would have been awful. Shininja would have been absolutely 100% the worst boat, uh, the worst bug or ghost. I mean, technically not so much because it gets Wonder Guard as an ability, which is a really good ability because you can only get hit by things that are super effective against you. But literally, like, if you get, if you find out your Pokemon, ha uh, one of the, your opposing Pokemon has something against you, well, you're dead. It's as simple as that. You're dead because it only has one health. So, you know, it's great to know that, you know, if you, if you, uh, you can't get hit unless you have, you know, unless you are of that certain persuasion of typing uh, or your opponent has something that can deal with you. But, you know. Ah, oh, why did you have to show up now and bug us? Uh, you know what they call you people? Pests. That's right, pests. Oh, those badges. Are they from Jodo? If you have eight of them, you must be good. Well, come to my gym. I'll take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean. All right. We will take on Misty in the ne uh, uh, possibly in the next episode or a future episode. But for now, we're going to end off today's episode here. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. On the next episode, we will be either taking on Misty or Sabrina or Erica or anything. Like, the type challenge is complete now, so that means, basically, just... Get the gyms done and we're done with this series. And hope that nothing dies because then the type challenge is back on. So the type challenge is complete for now. But like if we and if anything dies. You know, the type challenge is back on. Please let's not uh, let's hope for nothing dying again. Two Pokemon have died, and I think that's enough. Anyway, until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Me to love Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.